All right. So we got the Razor Ground Force Vever 48 volt 2000 watt motor. And here I have it wired up. I soldered it together. Here's the batteries. I use these connectors and they're not welded or soldered or anything. I used a belts, belts uh, from a car and drilled holes in them to zip tie it. So here's the situation. A belt going here, got a bolt. It's going this way. Another zip tie. Zip tie, zip tie is for uh, just uh, tightening it down. I have a spare zip ties in this little bag right here. So you just cut it, cut a new zip tie and we're going. This is, you're gonna need a plier for this. And every time you uh, take off the batteries, you wanna make sure you uh, crimp the connectors a little bit. So the teeth grab. Uh, sometimes they fall out, that's okay. You need a pre-charge resistor. So what I like to do is make sure your controller is off, throw the pre-charge resistor in here without a fuse, uh, connect both sides, make sure this doesn't turn, turn on because if it's on, that means you didn't turn it off. Then, uh, then after you touch the terminals for a couple seconds, I rec recommend very small resistors. So if something bad is happening, it'll burn up like this. You use something wrong enough, it's a fuse. So this is gonna be a real fuse. 30 amps is, works good. We've been going hard on this. It's given us no problem. Sometimes the connectors do fall out, but that's okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Here's our controls. The speed control and forward reverse. And this is how we mounted the steering. They got replacement wheels at the Razor store. Uh, it asks you for for a frame code or something like that. I just Google search it and find the link that goes directly to it and you can add it to cart for replacement wheels. Three speed. It's three speed. Let me show the mounting right here. We got bolts. I drilled, so what we're gonna need is drill bits and I use no welding because I'm too lazy for that, that's extra. Put a bolt down here. Highly recommend this uh, just universal universal seatbelt so you don't fall off. You have to get this. You're gonna fall off without one of these. I just bend this towel like this. Thick on this side, thick on this side goes over this channel so it doesn't hurt you in the butt. There's that. Fold it. This might hurt your back so that's why the towels go all the way up here. Anything else to add boys? It's oh, sick and it drips. Oh the brakes. Yeah. The brakes work uh, not very well. <laughs> Come on I'm trying to hype it up. It, the brakes work well enough. You don't need the brakes. Just throttle throttle uh, so you don't go away. Okay I'm gonna sit down. Hold it hold it. I got you. Three minutes? That's dumb. It should have been two minutes. You're the one that's talking. Let me make sure I don't lose my pre charge resistor. Did I lose it already? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't laugh. I need it. that. Oh, it's right there. Lost it in all yeah, it's right cake. there. Yeah. Where is it? It's right no, it's there. fine. He has an extra. That's food. very important. Oh, my helmet thinks. And I have goggles because it kicks up the breeze. I wouldn't want people getting on here think it's safe. It's not very safe. What you're gonna need is a chain. This guy also made a 48 volt. It had a carriage on the back. He has the links in the description for that, uh, the sprocket and the chain. You might need a chain breaker or something like that, pliers. Just figure out how to do that. I believe in you. You can make one of these too. Go on Craigslist. Got one for a hundred bucks. Okay, Razor Ground Force Go Kart Addendum. So these volt, these batteries are 18 amp hours. 18 amp hours. I run them down to 11.9 volts. That's when I feel it's safe, according to little charts. Uh, what else? I was saying that this thing right here costs like 130, 140 bucks. 
the batteries was another i don't know these are 40 each so somebody do math is it 40 each probably something crazy like that 40 each uh these wheels if you need a replacement it's like 40 i think comes with shipping towel towel uh go go kart uh that's gonna be like 150 or 200 sometimes i was lucky to get one for 100 uh this one was uh you should get for 150 100 you can see them around these belts i'm not sure what you're gonna do to hold your thing down i'm sure you can get shorter batteries there's a uh, nine amp hours you can find the dimensions these are you can find the dimensions on these either these are the u plus lp 12 18 12 volt 18 amp hour in terms of construction of the belt the belt was another like 25 dollars here we got bolts going through we have holes here so we use bolts going through you need, need a drill bit to get that what else can we add any, anything else we can add? Okay, just make sure you turn it off and unplug because it's still draining. There's a capacitor and there's things going on in there. Still draining battery. Uh, for this plate, I tried to reuse the holes for the old motor and it worked out, but I had a drill on the motor. See how there's a hole here? That one was pre-drilled. I had to drill the second one right here. No, there's connections for stop lights and things like that let me show there's a throttle one throttle that connects to these wires uh and the key that connects to these wires that's uh with this controller throttle controller uh what do you got you got this one and this one this one looks like three position switch three position switch this yellow and blue one it's a big one and it goes to red, green, black. And that goes to the position switch, the reverse switch. I added just a switch. And I had to run my own wires. I had to add that switch. And then I I connected them like this, I guess, into the reverse reverse thing here. And these these wires are the only ones that connect together. So they got connected together. I think this is for the motor position sensor or something like that. So those connect. What else? Wires, throttle, three position switch. That's all connected. Any questions, just uh, shoot me a text. You know my number. Addendum, addendum, addendum. All right, here we go. It goes like 14 miles an hour. It's plenty fast. You're going to hurt your butt. Watch out. Bumps like this. Can't do it slopes bumps don't do it make sure it's a flat paved surface recommended i kept the same tensioner and that that seems to work well right addendum 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 if you put it on level one it drifts the nicest uh level one we like the drifting they say that level three it, it kind of eases in so it doesn't go much faster than level two because level three eases in the throttle is to reduce the the load